Um, it's got a, a bit of a, uh, a yellow, uh, what's the word? It's it, that shimmerance in the water. It's like a... Pee pee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's Matt from Reef Underground. Today we're at Coral Essentials with Rick. Morning, Matt. We're going to learn a bit more about the, uh, the CVE range. The CVE range is our it's it's our it's our flagship range. That's we it's what we like to refer to it as. It's effectively made up of our original elements, which is a chroma vibrance and energy, which was their coral feeding products. Um, now we first came up uh, with these quite unique products. We're the first to hit the market with it. Um, can I say we've had a couple of little copycats that have come to the market afterwards? Hey. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> it's a compliment. Are we going to get censored? It's only no. a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's on your YouTube channel anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yes, we, so we come up with the Chroma Vibrant Energy there. Just a blend of vitamins and fatty acids that are in there. And effectively, we've found that they were really, really good for coral, coral growth. And particularly the Chroma and the Vibrance, really good feeding response, really good good colour and, and, and boosting. The Energy itself was uh, another one which is a good feeding product, uh, an oily based product so it can affect your skin or performance a little bit but once again uh, it just gave your coral a good energy boost, they just tend to love the food. Now these products had to be dosed individually just with right. drops. Right. Once again we recommend to put in the ref refrigerator after you've opened them and to dose with drops. Once again we can dilute them with RO water. We got a instructions on our website to be able to do that effectively try not to do more than about two to three weeks maximum of, of your usual dosage diluted and yes. then complete it and then diluted again while keeping that refrigerator now that got a little bit onerous for people yeah it takes a lot of work some people don't have the time some people go away they want to keep dosing it so we effectively come up with our cve range which is effectively a combination of all three together so we worked fairly tirelessly for nearly two years to, to combine the three together. Yes. Customers that asked for it, said, when can we get it all together? Can I? We kept going back, can I just join the, all these three together to do it? We didn't know what the right ratio was. So, so we worked through, we did it. We come up with our CV range, all the three products together, effectively can be put straight on a dosing pump once right. again. Um, good to do it, dose straight out of the container if possible, just to try and avoid contamination. Yes. Don't use a clear container either. It is a little bit light sensitive. Okay. It can be light sensitive. And if you've got a refugium or lights in your sump of some sort, use a dark container if you can, or just dose directly out of the bottle. Great feeding product, works well. People have had great response. I know you use it yourself at Reef Underground. Yes, most definitely. We still we still manually dose it because we, uh, we, we tune it up slightly, but because we get a lot of wild corals and we try to cater for them as well. Mm -hmm. So we're sort of in the, the mid range of dosing, but it is the kind of thing that if it was on a dosing pump and it ran out three or four days later, you'll notice your corals aren't where they were color-wise before, right. vibrance-wise, and so it is a product that makes a huge difference. I do get a common misconception with this product that it's an amino. It's definitely no, not an amino, no amino so if you're feeding all. any aminos, add this to your routine and you won't be sorry you did. No, definitely not. If you are dosing aminos, now other vitamin products, which is our Coral Power Grow, different vitamins all together again, a different range of vitamins, so you're not double dosing. We get the question all the time, and, and rightly so. We've had a great response, probably the, our best response we've had from any product we've ever released. What time of day would you recommend if you're doing a single dose to use a CVE? We just tell people, put it in the morning when you remember. Some people like to do it in at night. Um, it's got a, a bit of a... Uh, a yellow, uh, what's the word? It's it, that shimmerance in the water. It's like a pee pee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a little, it's a little bit of theatre in there when you put it in the tank. It tends to fluoresce in the water. That's what I was looking for. If you've had Barocca, yeah, and, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's it's right. like that. But it's like yeah, that. it's fun to watch. It's and it's, watch. Uh, yeah, you know, you're putting something in your tank when you use it. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, one of the products and the CVE you can also use as a coral dip. Um, the smaller amount. I do it quite regularly. If I had a coral that might have been stung or damaged, I do find 
doing uh, maybe even an iodine dip, but I do actually prefer to mix a bit of this in with the iodine dip and I get great recovery. Mm -hmm. And with the dip, it's not like a coral dip where it's gonna irritate it and you're limited with time. You can really soak the coral in for a uh, good yeah, hour or so, so and really let right. it take in those yeah. nutrients. Yeah, exactly, mate. It's a great method. And the, the coral dip, or the, the bath as we call it, yes. instructions are up on our website on how to do it. Um, look, one of our newest products on the market is the Coral Power Food. Uh, you can see here in front of us, 50 grams of freeze-dried goodness for your tank. Fantastic. Yes, effectively, we've um, we tested a lot of uh, a lot of products, and um, and we've come up with what we think is the mix of the the best nine freeze-dried marine and seawater living products that uh, we know your coral love and your fish love it too if they can uh, beat the coral to it when it's when it's floating down in the tanks but yeah really really good product freeze dried so very very low moisture content yes. you're getting 50 grams of real food in there there's no binder there's no there's no water there's no liquid in there it's effectively 50 grams of total food yeah that's that's great and it is a mixture of different things well i can mm -hmm. see krill shrimp mysis brine shrimp uh, phytoplankton, gamorous, which is a uh, chalk water shrimp, yep. I believe. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Pacific plankton, rotifers, cyclops. That's some, yep. that's some good stuff. I did find when I use it, it's very, very light. And I think that's probably a difference between a lot of the heavier foods, are the binding agents, and that's what they're designed for, maybe to make them sink. So mix it up nicely and then, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah mix it with yeah. your water, wet it first, and then it tends Most to definitely, sink. Most yeah. definitely, That's right. The only other thing we do suggest at times is that you can get it and clump it up, add a little bit of RO water, or as we we love to recommend, put a few little drops of chrome or a vibrance for okay. our black label in there, a few drops of CVE, yep. whatever you need to, uh, to to moisten it up, and then you can form little little clumps, little, yeah, right. little snotty balls, whatever yeah, you want to yeah. call them, and then you're, yeah, it's a little bit easier to target feed. I like the making a clump ball out of CVE. That's mm. that's like a, a power bar Double for corals, ball. isn't it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's on train dessert all at once. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to give that a go this afternoon. But yeah, I did find that I got a massive range of response out of different corals, including the scollies, which tend to be a bit more finicky during their day. They like to wait till the lights go down usually, so I did get a good response out of them, as well as pretty much all the corals and the systems oh, that we were yeah. testing them on. So yeah. very, very happy with this product. Um, yeah, check it out, give it a go. Excellent, yeah, check out the website for all those little extra tips and tricks with this product. And yeah, thanks for your time today. Thanks, Matt, pleasure.